Hello everybody and welcome back to Coombe Valley Campus. Today we are going to be showing you how to choose and order the Leisure Electrics for your camper van. In previous videos, we have shown you the different elements of campervan electrics. We've even gone into detail of split charge systems, how they work, and even how to install a system in a VW T5. What we're gonna talk about today is the next stage of um, choosing what elements you want in your camper van and where you might like them located. And then once you've made that decision, where you can go and order it. Now, if you just want some simple parts for your camper van to kickstart your build, maybe you're just building it in stages, or you know, you're doing it on a budget constraint, then please head down into the description below onto our website where you can do things like order just the split charge element, or a charger, or a fuse panel, or just some basic bits just to get you started. However, if you want to order an entire custom loom, stick around for a minute because we're going to show you where you're going to put stuff in your camper van and then there'll be a video on how you can order it. Right now I am sat in the back of a short wheelbase T5. It's a 2015 model and it's pretty standard in terms of spec levels. Um, it's a five speed manual, it was a panel van, it's already had some windows cut out and in this particular instance the customer has asked us to finish the insulation, the ply panelling, bit of carpeting, roof and the leisure electrics. Um, and the customer in particular didn't really know where to put some stuff so we threw up some suggestions and he is happy that where he is having his furniture and the control panels are going to suit his lifestyle. And I just wanted to show you what we're going to do. So in a previous video and I'll put the link up here somewhere we have shown you how to run the split charger and we finish the split charger under this seat here and that is where we are going to locate the battery in this vehicle once that battery is located we are going to need a fuse panel and we're going to keep the fuse panel in this vicinity here because as you saw that panel was unclipped quite easily and you can access the fuses quite easily with the seat pushed forward. These are aftermarket seats, by the way, these are out of a mini. So the space between here and here is quite big. So you'll always be able to access fuses for um, you know, fault finding in the future. From the battery location, there is one of two directions you can go. Normally, if you've got a long side interior down this part of the van, or if you want your control panel, down this part of the van, you would route your wiring under the seat through this B pillar or around the B pillar and along this side of the van. In this particular case, we are going to be coming the other direction, up this pillar, along this loom and down into this panel because that is where the customer wants the control panel around about here. And um, the other thing to consider in this instance is the lighting. The customer has supplied some LED down lighters and some reading lights for the back of the van as well. So there's lots of things going on. Also in this vehicle we're having a solar panel fitted and we're going to need a place for the controllers too. Now they can be hidden and we may hide those under here as well or they might be behind the storage but in this particular vehicle the customer wants all the items modular and removable so he can transport things when it's not being used as a camper van and I guess the point I'm trying to make is where there is a different design of interior layout and subsequently a different design of wiring loom for each camper van and once you've got the location of your battery finalized the world's your oyster really you can go anywhere you want you can have your control panel wherever you want and the utilities you want are endless also so when you're ordering a wiring loom you want to consider this area here you might have a hob and sink and a fridge so you'll need wiring to this area here you might have a control panel up in this part of the interior around about here, maybe with some USB controls. Um, so there's lots of different ways you can go. 
It's difficult to know the specification of those items before working it out, but there is a fantastic tool that not only helps you locate all of these items within your camper van, but will then calculate the size of the battery you require based on the utilities and lights that you have placed in their order. What I'm gonna do now is hand over to James at Rain Automotive, who has made his own video to help you order your form. But stick around until the end, because we use this form and we've got some excellent gear to show you, which is gonna be located in this van. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome to Rain Automotive. We're gonna be filling out our customer layout form and battery calculator today. This is what we use as the basis of our electrical camper conversion kits. It's gonna help us determine exactly what you're gonna need in order to go from where you are now to sort of your idea of the finished conversion. When you open it up, you're gonna see this screen. It looks pretty much like this. This is the V4 edit. Um, the similar ones will probably follow on in a very similar vein. Um, first thing to do, customer name, just gonna fill it in with your name here. And then we're gonna go for the vehicle make and model, which for this example is a T6. And then we're gonna put the age of the vehicle in, in two digit format, so it's an 18 plate in this case. So the next box you're gonna fill out is whether it's got a smart alternator fitted or not. You can find this lower down if you're not sure, you can click on this link here and that's going to take you through to a test on how to fill it out. The vehicle we've got here, we know it does, so we click the drop down and go for yes. After that, we move into the your vehicle section. As we're going to be filling out completely today, we're going to highlight the whole thing, press the delete key on the keyboard. If you go working with a layout that's similar to the original, you can just tweak it and change it. In this case, we're going to start from fresh. Code is the box we're looking for here where it says code in column U. We're gonna pick all the items in that and I'm just gonna go down them one by one, filling them in on the layout, and then that's going to give us a bit of an indication as to what we're gonna need. So we're gonna put the leisure battery under the driver's seat, main battery there. As you go down next to the code, you're gonna see what each thing is for here. You will also notice there's a little drop down on some of them so we can pick what kind of battery, for example, we want, or what kind of switch panel, uh, what finish we would like on there. So I'm just gonna go for the AGM battery and the silver switch panel in this van. And then we're gonna pop in, just go down methodically one by one, pop them all into the space. It's only gonna let you fill in things that are in this spot, or later on we'll look, there's an other section for any other bits and bobs that don't quite fall into this layout, but hopefully it covers most of what people are going to need. When you add something new, you've got the opportunity to come over here to the supply component or wire only drop down menus. And we're just gonna pick whether you'd like us to supply the component or whether you'd like us just to wire it through. If you only want the wiring, it's gonna come with a label on it and just blank cable ends ready for you to join on to whatever components it may be that you're adding. As we go down each one, again, some of the items with a black square around them have the opportunity for you to select a spec within them. We're going to go down. All these things here are relating to the core wiring kit, which is an item that would appear in your quotation. And as we go down, you'll see a couple of other items. They're all color coded, so you can see what they might be. Uh, the next one is this mains wiring kit here. So we scroll down to that. We'll go, we want to put a main system in this van. So we're going to put in that we have the consumer unit and the battery charger there and uh, a double socket outlet there. The mains inlet will go up here under the bonnet and this one that's quite a popular option in the transporters these days we're not going to be putting any of the other bits and bobs inverter or solar panel on this one no others here you come to asking about gas pipes this does have a fixed gas installation in the van and it's also got mains so we're going to need a gas bonding kit we we'll just tick yes on that that's going to pop us there then we scroll down a little bit further and this is pretty much what you're going to need um, because we've got a smart alternator we've got the CTEC upgrade we've got between six and ten fuses and we've got some roof lights reading lights gas bonding kit etc at this point save the save the form by hitting the little disc option up on the top left here and then you can pop it in an email to us and we will get you a quotation over as soon as we can and get the ball rolling from there thank you for watching after we'd completed our form that you've just seen, we waited a little while 
and we received all this beautiful camper van electric gear that you see before me. To start off with at the back then, we have this really nice looking flexible solar, sorry, flexible solar panel and it is a 150 watt model. This will be connected to the Victron Smart MPPT controller and we also have here is the Victron Orion TR smart controller. Now in previous videos we've discussed why you would use a smart controller and that is with one of these smart alternators that you'd find in more modern vehicles. Um, we will discuss this another day. We will discuss um, what it is, how it works and how to install it. So look forward to that. But in the meantime, we shall just, well, just look at it. It's an absolutely gorgeous piece of kit. Um, and oh, by the way, all of these are Bluetooth enabled. So what you can do is download the Victron app and then you can go into that app and change the settings as you see fit for your camper van build. The hub of the system, really, the control panel is this powder coated metal control panel you see here. Now, it does look quite basic, but in reality, you don't need much more than this in a regular camper van build. You have a twin USB socket, and in between those two sockets, you will have a 12 volt reading, which is from your battery. Um, you have a 12 volt cigar lighter socket, and you have six, um, six switches, which will control everything from your lights to well, whichever you want really there's six there because you may not have six items in your camper van initially um, but it will future proof it so you can wire them in the actual control panel comes pre-wired as you can see it's all beautifully terminated and it has these universal plugs and you get a bag of the female connectors to go with that so once you've finished wiring all your goodies that will be connected to these we have the fuse board which will be connected to your battery and to carry on with the battery, we have the wiring that will connect from your battery to your split charge system and from your split charge system, sorry, yeah, from your vehicle battery into your smart charger, from your smart charger to your leisure battery. And to finally finish off down in this corner, we have all the wiring for your solar panel. And as you can see, they've gone to the lengths of uh, pre, I'm going to say just slicing the ends of the cables there so you can whip the ends off those. You can then terminate those cables using the provided plugs and they're all labelled as well. So we've got solar controller positive in, solar controller negative in. It's all very good gear, it's all pre-terminated and I can't wait to fit this into this van. Now we won't be covering this entire install, however we will be covering an entire install very soon when we release a future project, so look forward to that. But thank you very much for watching. Apologies about the noise in the background, there is a very busy, uh, it's a very busy industrial estate, um, but just goes to show that these are real videos and not polished in any way, shape or form. Um, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.